Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome to Creator Classes and also welcome to our series on Angle Bisector. This is the seventh lecture under the series. In this lecture, we will cover X circle and the proof of X radius. So without taking any further time, let's begin the lecture. Like in the case of in circle, there is in center means in center is the center of the circle which is in circle. Similarly, here E is the X center. So this X center is also the center point of some circle. What is that circle? Let's see. With the center as E that is X center, we can form a circle which will touch the three sides of the triangle. Two are the external side and one is the main side of the triangle. So we can form a circle which is touching these three sides of the triangle. This circle is known as X circle. This is the X circle and the radius of this X circle is known as X radius. The radius in in circle is in radius and the radius of X circle is X radius. We will denote the X radius as R1 and we have denoted the in radius as R. Side by side I will compare the in circle with the X circle. This X radius R1 will be at equidistance from the three sides of the triangle that is one main side and the two external side. Further, are you able to observe the two external side and the one main side is acting like a tangent to this X circle? The tangent is a line segment which touches only one point of the circle. These three sides are touching at the one point of the X circle. So these three sides are the tangent to this X circle. And we know the property of the tangent that is tangent makes a 90 degree angle with the radius. So we can say all these three angles are 90 degree angle. Okay, the angle between the radius and the tangent is 90 degree. Got it? Moving further, let's denote the three sides of the triangle as A, B and C. Okay, BC is A, AB is B and AC is C. In the previous lecture, we have seen that in radius of the in circle is equal to the area of the triangle ABC upon the semi perimeter of the triangle ABC. The same we have done in the previous lecture. In line with the similar philosophy, there is a formula for X radius that is R1. The formula is R1 is equal to area of the triangle upon semi perimeter minus A. This is the formula of X radius. Let's see the proof of this formula. Are you able to observe the triangle ABE? This is the triangle ABE. Can we calculate the area of this triangle ABE? Let's calculate the area. We know area of the triangle is half into base into height. Let's take the side B that is AB as the base of this triangle. And the height will be perpendicular distance from the opposite vertex. Can we say this distance or the R1 as height of the triangle? Height is just the perpendicular distance from the opposite vertex. Some may be confused that this height is coming outside the triangle. Do not worry that the height can come outside the triangle. Just it should be perpendicular from the opposite vertex. So we got area of this triangle is equal to half into B into R1. In the similar line, can we calculate the area of triangle AEC? the area of this triangle will be equal to half into C into R1. We have taken C as the base and R1 as the height. Further, can we calculate the area of the triangle BCE? Area of this triangle is equal to half into base into height. Let's take A as base and R1 as the height. We got area as half into A into R1. So we have got area of these three triangles. With the help of area of this three triangle, can we calculate the area of triangle ABC? Can we? Let's see. Area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ABE plus area of triangle ACE minus area of triangle BCE. And subtract area of this triangle, we will got area of triangle as ABC. And we know area of these three triangles. Let's do the addition and subtraction. We got area of triangle ABC is equal to half into BR1 plus half into CR1 minus half into AR1. 
On solving, we got area of triangle is equal to R1 into B by 2 plus C by 2 minus A by 2. Can we add A by 2 and subtract A by 2 from this equation? Nothing will happen as we have added A by 2 and subtracted A by 2. Both will cancel with each other, so nothing will happen. Okay, we can do so. We have done this because we want to segregate A by 2 plus B by 2 plus C by 2. Can we replace A by 2 plus B by 2 plus C by 2 as the semi perimeter? Okay, this is half of the perimeter and the perimeter is A plus B plus C. So, A plus B plus C by 2 is semi perimeter. So, on solving, we got area of triangle is equal to R1 into S minus A. Minus A by 2 and minus A by 2 is minus A. On solving, we got R1 that is X radius is equal to area of triangle upon semi perimeter minus A. This is the proof of the formula. In radius is equal to area of triangle upon semi perimeter and X radius is equal to area of triangle upon semi perimeter minus A. Based on this philosophy, if we take these two angles as the exterior angle, we can make one X circle here also. Let's denote the radius of this X circle as R2. For this X circle, the formula of X radius that is R2 will be R2 is equal to area of triangle ABC upon semi perimeter minus C. Similarly, we can make one X circle here also with the side B and the formula of X radius of this X circle will be equal to area of triangle upon semi perimeter minus B. So as per the base of this X circle, we can make the formula of the X radius. Okay students, we have done with X circles. In the next lecture, we will cover the complete summary of angle bisectors in circles and X circles. So don't miss the lecture. This will be like a quick summary before the exams. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like or dislike, please mention in the below comment section. And thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Have a great day and best of luck. Bye for now.